All right, let's talk about it. This video is called Never Let a Woman Take Care of You. All right? Now, now, this is a bad situation, okay? It's no bueno, okay? Now, what I'm talking about, now, I don't mean if, you, if you're with your wife, your boo, your ma, your girl, whatever, okay? Now, if, she, if you will say, for example, um, you fall on hard times and she's holding you down, okay? In other words, if you get sick or you're injured or uh, you've got some kind of disability, it's temporary until you get back to work or whatever, a work-related injury, some kind of thing, whereas, you know, you're out for a while, okay? She's holding you down, okay? That's not what I'm talking about, okay? What's no good is what I'm talking about is these career, these, these able-bodied, uh, mind, balanced mind, able to work physically, mentally, or whatever, just career loafers, okay? These are career loafers, man boys, okay? They, they spend their time, you know, not trying, like say, for example, they, they, they spend their time trying to find a job or trying to find themselves or, or you know, change do a career change and not know what they want to do yet trying to figure it out so uh so to speak so these i'm talking about because you know a lot of times these guys do this stuff because it's easier and it's you know it's, they, they get they fall into this fray where the woman you know she may see potential in her in the guy if she's a given woman um she may have low self-esteem but she's still giving she's she's loving and you know, she cares for the guy. She's going to give him a chance. She sees potential, okay, in this guy. Fuck potential, okay? Guys, fuck potential. You know, potential doesn't mean shit, okay? It's what you do with potential, okay? Having something and not using it is worthless, all right? So let's move on. So with these career loafers, okay, their whole thing is to buy time, okay? Kick back, relax, chill, and, and and they'll figure it out when they when they get a chance. They'll they'll when they get when it the right job comes along, they'll know. Okay. So a lot of times these guys sometimes these guys were working at one time and they fall back and the girl, you know, she's like, you know, I, I hope he'll, you know, you'll get better. Don't worry about it. You know, you're doing your thing, take your time. <laughs> and they start, they really fall into this fray. Now, guys, I don't want you doing this stuff right here because you know, you're not really hurting her, okay? You're hurting yourself, okay. She's suffering a little bit, but it's 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 not gonna hurt her for long, okay? It's gonna hurt you permanently. Okay, here's why. Okay. First of all, when you live this type of lifestyle, I'll give you a few reasons why. Number one, it undermines your mission as a man, okay, and, and, and your purpose in life. It takes you off your mission and you're in this parking zone where you're sitting back, okay, being tended to. Okay. So you're not definitely not challenging yourself as a man you're not on your mission you're not looking for your purpose in life you're not you don't have any drive your purpose okay your purpose as a man your dna what you're structured to do to do is to build create okay procreate okay lead explore somebody some people destroy but protect and serve those are the missions that you have and when you put your talents and your skills you bring along, you add to that and make yourself, it makes you who you are as a man to take on challenges, okay? But you decide to sit back, kick back and chill, okay? Your purpose is in her world, okay? So in, uh, by, by you being over here and having no mission, no purpose, it undermines your mission as a man and if you right in her world. So you have to serve purpose in her world, okay? That's what you're doing. Instead of her joining your world of purpose. So she doesn't know where, where your family's going. She doesn't know the direction in life. Okay. She, she feels I should go left. I feel I should go right. Okay. But you should, you should have the logical sense to know that. She has a good idea. She can guess and have some logical choices that are, that are good. Okay. But she, the onus is really on you as a man. But you're not doing that. So she takes the role. Okay. So that makes... You know, by her undemanding, by you undemanding, un, uh, her undemand, you undermining yourself, undermining yourself by not taking control, you put her in that position, okay? So you actually sitting back, kicking back, causes her to, you know, take the reins, if you will, or drive the bus, okay? Not a good place for you, okay? It doesn't hurt her. It, it slows her down. It doesn't hurt her, though. You spend 10 years, 18 years, okay, with her, 
because it serves her purpose. Say she got kids, for example. Okay, for 18 years you took care. You took care of the kids at home. She ain't worried about you. She's like, okay, yeah, you're still taking care of the kids. That's awesome. You're playing your part. Okay, that's fine. Your part is the Mr. Mom. That's what you are. Okay, and you're a man boy, Mr. Mom. You're there for 18 years. The kids fly to fly to coop. They fly to coop, and so does she. She realizes, ah, oh, I really don't need him anymore here. Yeah. She finds a purpose, a drive for her mission in life. And you're probably not in that unless you want to still hang out on the sideline. And after that, as she starts working and getting better, she's going to see less value in you as it is, and she's going to be done with you, period. She's going to find a better option out there. Someone's actually working. McDonald's, anything. Okay? So don't fall into that fray. Don't waste your 18 years. All right? Now, next one, because, again, being dependent as a guy, you fall dependent to her, it makes you very comfortable. Okay? Some guys get comfortable. They fall into this fray. And they start saying, you know what? She's home. She's, this is all right. She really cares. She's caring and loving. Yes. But you take advantage of that. Sometimes, by, sometimes you, you know, it starts with little shit first. Okay? Oh, you know what? Damn, I don't have, I don't have gas money. Can you take me to the store? Can I get a ride to the store? You know, oh, yeah, I'll take you to the store. No problem. You get a ride to the store. Uh, you're short. Or, you know, you get something to eat. She buys sandwiches from the deli. Okay, brings her back home. Here you go, boom, boom, boom. And you on the phone, you know, asking for food or, hey, ma, you got to bring something in your home. Come home, do this and that, do that. Yeah, I got you. I'll bring that for you, whatever. Bring me this, bring me that. Boom, boom. Okay, you start falling into demanding stuff. Why? There's no challenge for you to go out there and get stuff on your own because she's bringing it home to you. Okay, so you're very comfortable. You're very complacent. You're going to find a job, though. But then you call, you know, she gets home and she says, you know, what's going on with the job? You say, yo, listen, honey, I need some money. Uh, you can't get some pants. I need to get pants from the store so I can get. I got this call coming up. I'm waiting for this job. You know, they said they like me, so I don't know. I'm gonna go interview and see what happens. You know, so you kind of keep them. You keep a girl lingering. You know, you keep her kind of. You know, so don't be this kind of guy, okay? Because again, you getting comfortable. You should be comfortable being uncomfortable, okay? That's the point, okay? You should always be striving, trying to pick, boom, grow, lift, boom, okay? Meet up. Okay, try to find out and grow and elevate. Get around people that are doing the right thing and that's, that's growing the things that you like to do. Growing in a positive way, okay? Sitting around the house is not doing that, okay? Being a fucking professional loafer, career loafer is not doing that, all right? So don't fall into that phrase. It's, it's very easy when someone's handing you stuff that you ask for. They're handing it to you, you know, in, enabling you in a sense. But she's doing it because you have potential, remember? So she's hoping that you'll take wings and fly, but you're not, all right? You're just sitting there getting spoon-fed. Getting spoon fed. Here you go. You need this. Here you go. You need this. It gets easy to fall back and get lazy for two or three years. Snap out of it. Oh, shit. Two or three years, she starts calling you out on your bullshit, and then you're like, oh, wow, you know, arguing or whatever. So don't do it. Next one. Because this creates a negative a negative cue over the relationship to begin with because you're putting her in a position of being the man all this time. She's being taken on gender roles that are a man's place. Look at my video on um, gender role reversal, okay? It clears things up for you a lot, okay, on this position and where you should be and, and the purpose and the point, okay, of you guys. And polarity. I have a video on polarity, polarity too. Those kind of come together and make a nice picture for you to find out, you know, if, why you should be out of this kind of fray and this kind of mindset. This mindset right here is a very beta mindset. A lot of people do it. Cool people, uh, people that are introvert, I can't talk to people, uh, I, 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 I'm bad on people and all that, fuck all that, you gotta live life, we're here, people are gonna be here, what are you gonna do, not see people, okay, get online then, figure out an online job, do that, okay, you make a lot of money doing that as well, but don't do nothing, alright, let's move on, so, but again, with this mindset, it makes her very uneasy, okay, because she cannot count on you, you're unreliable, okay, so, by you, by you, uh, you know, falling and being complacent and needing stuff for her, you're coming off very needy, okay? And it makes her feel as if, if I don't help him, he's going to fail, okay? If I don't support him, he's going to fail. That's why when you ask for shit, she gives it to you. If she has it, she has a loving heart, and she's giving, all right? Doesn't make that a good thing all the time, okay? In this case, you want a woman to charge you on your shit. Like, yo, get, you get a job or what? What's, what's going on here? We, this what we doing right here? You home on the couch, hey babe. She's like, oh, what? Wait, did they call the job call you yet? You know, did you get this? You get that? Okay. In that case, that's what you want. But this girl's loving, nurturing, as she should be. But you're taking advantage of that in the wrong way. 
and it's going to fall against. It's making the relationship go backwards the other way. You're feeling, you're taking it as love. She's taking it as you need stuff. You're needy. Okay, so you got to look at it that way. Her, from her point of view, it looks needy. From your point of view, it reads love, caring, and understanding. Okay, that shit runs thin. Okay, love don't pay the rent. Okay, that's a, that's a fact of life. You got songs about it. You got books about it. Read them. All right, so let's move on. So again, now this brings down your market value altogether. Okay, your value as a man in her eyes is very low, very low. You come off to her, you're you're a liability. She's she's become the asset, and you're actually the liability because every time she turns around, it's costing her to be with you. Okay, whether it's extra meal or if it's if it's uh, you need uh, supplies or if you need uh, whatever gas, this that, but she she start doling out money. You become a liability, okay? So you don't want to be that guy because he sees you as a man-child, okay? Which displays extreme weakness. You're coming off weak, okay? You're a liability. The last, and this, all this comes down to someone either, it's two ways you look at it, either assets or liabilities. And right now, you're in, a, you're in the liability department big time, okay? Nothing about you has been an asset unless she has kids at the house taking care of the kids, okay? For her, for her, in her eyes, that's an asset. Why? No babysitter for 18 years. And when the kids are gone, you're out. Okay? That's what a smart girl would do. So don't don't fall into that shit. I'm not telling them to do that, but I'm telling you look out for it. All right? This is still a man's channel here. I'm not, you know, but, but you have to be wise enough to understand that. All right? Let's move on. If, if the value is lower, the less value, all this stuff is disappearing from who you were when she met you. She's going to have a lot of resentment, which comes through and it reads through in her bitchiness, okay? Or she starts, she turns, she's turned off with you sexually, period. She's turned off with sex on sight, okay? She don't want you touching her or none of that because she's not sexually charged up by you because you're not uh, a, a leading, uh, you're not bossing up, okay? You're not taking charge of your, of your life. How are you going to take charge of her in the bedroom, okay? I mean, this and that and whatever, that shit don't last always, okay? It don't, okay? Not in the long term. When she's looking projected for her life in the future, okay? And she gets older, she's going to want something different. In the 20s and all that, yeah, that's fun. It's all fun. Everybody's having fun until the gray hair start coming in and shit. <laughs> that's real. That's real right there. But let's move on. So that resentment will, will really, because she can't really, you, she's not living the life she wants to live. If she has, let's say she has no kids, whatever, she's not living like she wants to live because she wants to go out, and vacation, travel, this, that, whatever, but she can't because her man's this, that, my man, this, and that. So if this continues long enough, most girls, okay, it will start an exit plan, start planning an exit strategy right away, okay? Start hanging out late with their friends, okay? And this is the last one, is women start planning an exit strategy, okay? It leads them to start hanging out later, where are you going? You home on the couch. She ain't worried about you. And she's not she's not attracted to you at all. Her attraction for you is done. Okay, that the attraction value, your market value is zero. Zero. Okay, she has no interest. Okay. You're a, a, a roommate. A, a, a annoying roommate. <laughs> so you've become that already. So now her plan, her exit plan. So that's planning her exit strategy. She's gonna be out with her friends. Oh, I, at first it'll be work, work late at work. I stay at work late, late at work now. They got me staying here. Da da da. Oh, the next one to be out with her friends. Okay, I got to stay out with my friends. This and that. Yeah, you know, so and so and so and so. Look at my video on um the signs that women are cheating. You know, that's a good video because a lot of these things fall into that when a woman's planning her exit strategy. Okay, and how to recognize that because at this point there's no talking to you. Okay, it's been maybe six months to a year. You haven't done anything yet. You're still on the couch. Okay, giving her, selling her stories about this job went well, <laughs> that job went well, I'm waiting for a call back here, this, that, and the third thing. So don't fall into that fray, all right, guys? So listen, you should be, like I said, on your mission, on your life, period. Find out what you do, what you do best, how you're going to serve, give your purpose, give your talent, give your gifts. We all have gifts, okay? Whether you recognize them or not, they're in there. They're locked in here. You have them. No one can take them from you. You got to bring them out. The only person holding them back is yourself. Okay, we want to see them. Listen, uh, I got people signing in now. Um, I got new subscribers popping in. You know, so I want to welcome you guys. Once you come in here, your family. Okay, so welcome. I'm watching your comments. I'm watching them. So put some more comments in there and uh, the emails I'm getting. 
I read in them all. I'm sending them back. Clients coming in. Great. Yo, like, subscribe, comment below. Excel. Live my best life. Hope you guys are too. Excel. And I'm out.